series. I'm getting my thoughts on many of the current Nitro channels. And it's been fascinating. There's some great ones. There are people still faking the bomb. There are people running, hiding the shit. Then we have people like this cat here, who I'll tell you, this is currently my favorite Nitro channel at the moment. Because he talks mad shit. And his shit's not that bad. Which I'll get to in a moment as to why. But he talks mad shit, but he's a little bit confused as well. You see, he's giving shout outs to people um, that he learned from. People that he would consider as OGs in this hobby. The funny part is, those people that he learned from, they learned from me. Be fair warned, if you come up on my video and try to run some smack, you're gonna get smacked by the Muggy Maniac. If you come on my, my, my channel, and you start talking some trash, don't bring a, a, a knife to a gunfight because you get that ass bang. Don't let your mouth write checks your ass can't cash. So don't go come talking shit like you know everything unless you got facts, okay? Be ready to back them up. You see? You know, look, look. Please get at me. This is the only reason I'm in on social media. That's real. Like I said, I gave you my email. Get at me, because I don't really ever read comments. Like, I don't know you, so I don't have any real beef with you or anything. I just want to warn you. Because you definitely, definitely need to understand all um, It's a challenge, anyway, to get to pull the front end up on a 8-scale truck. Um, it just is because of the bigger tires and every try to get, but I don't, I don't, I mean, think that a, a, even my modified Reds Point 21 will pull the front end up. What about a stock ready to run engine? You said your pants in her, man. Somebody be up in your butt. <laughs> That is funny, bro. So, anyway, what's up, Nitro Nation? Muggy Maniac is in the cave. This is the, you know, where we talk about, like to talk about how the day went as far as the brap session. You know, but it, again, I'm always addressing issues, it seems, of lately because people like this guy, and this is, if you guys, that's funny of what he said. If you listen to that, pay attention to that video, go watch it. It's called The State of Nitro Channels. He said that I, my channel, this was eight months ago, was currently his favorite channel. Okay? And then he said, I don't know how you watch this kind of things yet, but he's doing his bullshit channels now. Hey, <coughs> if that does it for you, if you like the current nerd videos, then to each his own. I just don't get it. I mean, and don't trust me. Like I said in the past, especially guys like this and other guys, you keep your friends close... If you're smart, and that's another question, <laughs> if you're smart, you keep your friends close and your enemies closer. True fact. If you're smart. Now, if, it doesn't, if you're not that smart or that intelligent, then obviously you're not going to even get that. So he also said, you know, uh, you know that, that I was a little confused because I gave shout-outs to guys like Bodejo, guys like, uh, uh, you know, um, Elite RC, you know, uh, guys that I gave shout outs to, he said that these guys learned from him. Well, some of them have, some of them haven't, but the whole point is, is he was trying to like, he felt like I didn't give him any shout outs. You guys go look at some of my past videos. Go do your homework. Go do your some research. Don't cast judgment on me, okay, without getting the facts straight and the full evidence. Some of you guys want to watch part of my video and then say some stupid remark when you haven't even watched the whole thing. You're like, okay, I've seen enough. He doesn't even, you know, know what he's talking about or he doesn't know how to tune. And I'll also tell you that the nerd just felt like I just dis dis dissed him. 
I've given that guy so much credit. And like I said, credit due where credit's due. Go look at my past videos before. Even the whole time you talk shit to me. I mean, I defended myself. And like I said, what I did with the nerd, I asked him, Listen, Mr. Nerd, can you explain to me <clears throat> what are the benefits of a motor with a pull start or a roto start compared to a motor with a seal backplate? Because if you guys watch his stuff, he's Mr. Pull Start. But it's funny because he has other, you know, he has a lot of whips. He has a lot of engines, a lot. He has a, a pretty, pr probably a bigger arsenal than Mr. Za. Okay? So why he continues to run pull starts and like that's the his thing, it, it's partly because he wants to, you know, flex his intellectual, his, you know, so, so to speak, nitro brain. Take something that's a, a RTR or whatever and say, well, listen, I can make this, you know, scrub shit or whatever, rookie stuff, and I can make this thing badass. Well, that's fine. But to try to teach that to somebody, I don't, under I don't understand why. Okay? And I want to read this comment, too. Again, this is a guy, you know, there's guys that have my back, and there's guys that stab me in the back, and they know who they are. Or aren't. Um, but this guy here always has got my back. Um, and there's a handful of them. Okay? So he made a comment. And you guys can go see it on Woogie. By the way, hey Woogie, shout out. No, I mean, we're, we're not in cahoots right now. And me and Woogie, just so you guys know, we're not. You don't have to be buddy buddy, chummy chummy, you know. And he knows that he, he can be that with me. But it's not going to ever happen because he's doing his thing. I'm doing my thing. We can coexist, but it doesn't mean we're going to go, you know, grab a cup of coffee and, and we're going to be all lovey-dovey or whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? You, got, you know, that sounds gay, but you know what I'm saying? We don't have to be best buddies. Just because we're not on, me and him are not, me and Chris Tenner are not on the same Wavelength. I don't want. I'm not saying same level. Obviously, I'm at a different level than he is, and I'm not saying that I'm better than him or whatever. It, it that doesn't matter. I'm just talking about he's in a different direction. He's going in the right lane, like most of YouTube guys. I'm going the left lane, so to speak. Does that make sense? I seen a sign that said, "You laugh at me because I'm different," and then at the bottom of that sign it said, "I laugh at you because you're all the same." Sellouts. YouTube sellouts. Let's. Give the people what they want. I say F the people, not in like disrespect or, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not giving people what they want. I'm doing what I want to do because I love to do it and this is what I want to do. And what I want to do is keep Nitro 110% pure. No E-words, none of that. Some people, well, well, you're copying Baudigel, whatever. I mean, I'm carrying on what Baudigel, and I believe, where he stopped at A-scale Nitro. If you guys following Baudigel for as long as whatever, and there's tons of Baudigel, you know, enthusiasts, and I'm one of them. I, I, Baudigel have respect all in the world, not just because he taught me stuff, because the guy keeps his stuff real. He's not doing any work. He, he's talked about different stuff, crawlers. Or he's not touching one. Sure enough, I'm on a video, and the E-word people would love that, but you know how he feels about E-word. I don't have to tell you guys that. <laughs> it's for lazy people. You know, but anyway, just me and Chris Tenner, you know, shout out to him because of this right here. It's not the best thing in the world. I'm not like, whoa, it just, you know, it made my motor modified. This stuff here, but it's good. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate what he did. By the way, Chris, you should be getting the rest of those stands within the next, probably tomorrow or Wednesday at the very latest. They're on the way. Don't think that I didn't, and for other people too, that I scammed him. Guys say, oh, you scam, or you, you know, I didn't scam nobody. Those, it cost me a total, almost two bucks a pop on those stands, 12 of them, you do the math. Plus it cost me combined, because I had to ship them separate, because the other ones weren't in until now, which Tinner knew the whole deal. So it cost me another $11, or whatever, 10 bucks to ship those six plastic stands. Plus those super rare MBX Mugen uh, 5R rear shock springs that are brand new in the package barely used i think i used them once maybe 
But the original, I mean, those are very hard to get. Those are the only extra set I have. And, you, and I gave them to him out of the kindness of my heart. Okay? So don't get it twisted like he gave me, you know, spent all this money on, you know, this stuff is not cheap. MP. Okay? But I, it cost me about $50 out of my pocket. And he sent me two of those cans. So we're, we're kind of pretty even there. Even if you spent $20 a can, the last time I heard you said $18 a can. So I think we're pretty even there. And that's not the whole point of this. The whole point is that people don't know all the facts. They just assume, and part of it's his fault. Part of it's Mr. Tinner's fault because he should have said he was kidding. Because you can't do that with people. you got to be, and you guys have seen that, evidence of me. You can't just kid and stuff like that. And then say, oh, well, you say one thing, and then you get mad when I, you know, and that's all water under the bridge. Like I said, me and Chris Tinner just won't ever see eye to eye. And it doesn't mean that I don't like him. It doesn't mean that I hate him. It doesn't mean that I'm going to talk trash about him. I'm just going to keep all my stuff real, whether he's in the mix of it or not. Okay? We're just not buddy buddies. We're not all chummy chummies. Okay? That ain't never going to happen. He's just, he's in this for a whole different reason than I am. And we're never going to see eye to eye. Because I don't agree with probably about 90% of what he does. So, his to each his own. Doesn't mean he's a bad guy. Doesn't mean I'm mad at him. Do your own thing. You know, we don't need to be best friends. I'm spending more time in talking to guys that are on the same page or the book that I am. Which is next level, 8 scale nitro only, nothing else. Teaching newbies, yes, to a certain extent. Although, they have to do the work. I'm not going to take people's hands. So anyway, go look on his video. It's MBX5 Race Ready. The one that he did before the last one. By the way, Woogie, Chris, I don't know what's up, bro, but... You didn't seem very enthusiastic on that last video. I hope you're, you're not taking this, you know, because everything, I mean, I don't know, maybe something's going on, I don't know. You know you have my number, you have my line, you know, uh, like I said, we're never going to be buddy buddies. Okay, that's just not going to happen, I'm sorry, because we just, we're just, we're basically both stubborn. And you're doing things for a different reason, and I, and I don't agree with a lot of what you're doing, just as much as you don't agree with what I'm doing. And we don't have to agree to disagree, whatever you say. Hey, as long as we just exist, coexist or whatever, and do our thing, you do your thing, I do my thing, don't worry about me, I won't worry about you, you don't worry about, you know, just do your thing, it's fine. Don't, don't take it, I'm not, I don't hate you. So anyway, look at all these replies, okay? First of all, Joe, just Joe came to my defense. He said, Woogie, Mark once again, you know, and this is people knowing him, I, I told him not to mention his name, but this guy knows who he is, I already said his name. And I do apologize because he didn't want to mention his name. But I'm just reading this. I'm keeping it real. I'm not going to hide shit from nobody. Period. It says, Woogie. You know who once again selected hearing? Muggy. He was talking to Woogie and this guy. Okay. Muggy clearly stated either in a video or a comment that he bought all the remaining engine stands they had to at the store that day. And asked them to order more and he will send, send Woogie. The rest when it gets them. Oh, and threw in stock springs, okay, for Woogie. 15 years old, discontinued car. Probably not easy to find. Just out of the kindness of his heart. Maybe pay more attention, gentlemen. Holidays are coming. Up, let's try to keep things civil around here. It's more relaxing and enjoyable that way. Have a great day. And so here's what he got out of that. He came to my defense because he's my real brother. People that don't say anything when guys slander me, those aren't your real friends, and those are people I will never have a relationship with. So here's Woogie's remark. Yep, I heard him. I'm just fooling him. Maybe y'all took it wrong. Maybe. My bad. Said I was just kidding and gave a shout out. You're tripping, brother. I don't get it. He can poke at me in every video. I screw with him once, and it's wrong. Just like this response, you'll probably take it the wrong way. But I don't mean any bad blood. Listen to his videos. Especially two back. He slammed me all over the place. I did? Okay. But I didn't cry about it. Come on, people. Stop with the BS. Well, he also said, By the way, you know he's making comments under a different name trying to get me to talk bad about him. What's up with that? That looks... Uh, that. Let's look at the whole picture. So that, Mr. Chris Tinner, is a bunch of bullshit. Where you get your information from... You better check your info because I have no other aliases, okay? So I don't know what you're talking about. That has no, 
there's no weight to what you... Again, there's a, a complete ignorant comment that he just made. Now, I'm not trying to turn this into Bash Woogie. I'm reading the truth of what people are seeing. And when people don't come to my defense, and Joe did, Gearhead Addict does, these guys are my real brothers. These are why these other guys will never... They'll all they'll be is just whoever. Doesn't mean I hate them. Doesn't mean I... Ha you know, it just means... I know that they don't they don't got my back. I'm building relationships in this to for people that got my back. And if you don't got my back, you're not even on my radar. Whether it means anything to you, don't ask me for shit. Don't ask me for nothing. And by the way, this guy that we're talking about besides Woogie that he mentioned, and I know he doesn't want me to mention his name, but Mark, we're cool now. Mark, he we we hashed it out. You know, we we both apologized for our actions and we were grown men about it. Okay, but I'm just reading you this because this just came to my attention and I don't want people, especially on Woogie's channel, and then for Woogie not even to defend me, he can say whatever he wants. He's not my real Nitro brother and he never will be because of the fact he doesn't care about me. So why should I care about him? If he did, he would def if the guys that defended me on that last Foss video, those are my brothers. The guys that just were biased about it and said nothing after Foss slandered my name about some bullshit, you guys will never be my Nitro Brothers. Ever. So don't even think about it. So don't try to contact me. Scroll on because I know who you are now because I read all of Don Foss's comments. You guys think like uh, the Muggy doesn't do his homework? Come on. How many times does Woogie and other people say that I do my homework? I'm reading and constantly checking everything on YouTube. I know what's going on. Just as much as I know, for the most part, what I'm doing in Nitro. It says right here, okay, by the way, also Woogie says, you know he's making comments under, yeah, okay, we read that. So Just Joe says, Woogie Nitro, I had no problem the way you've been dealing with him. But when the guy, you know, so-and-so, you guys can read this yourself, made his comments... You didn't explain you were joking, and you knew Muggy was going to send you the rest of the, those stands. He's not a scammer. Also have the Muggy's personal number, and I know you don't see it, but I believe that he has taken more shit from me, that, and when he deserves it, not that I am anyone, but no one has taken more shit from the Muggy, so that, from, from me than the Muggy. So this is not the one-way street, trust me. Remember this season. Tis the season, Nitro is the glory. We are stronger in, in numbers. Of course we are. I don't want to have to deal with this bullshit. But I'm not going to let people just talk out their ass and try to slander people and then turn it around like you're the victim. Get a, get a life, people. So Woogie says, Just Joe. Nah, he has been lots of love. I've given him lots of whatever he said. Even though he talks shit all the time, all good. You're biased. I can't see the hill. I can't see the hill through trees. Crazy Kurt. Come on, man. Don't insult me like that. And then Woogie says, even Gearhead knows. And now he throws Gearhead on it. And I talk to Gearhead every day. And Gearhead said, that's a bunch of bullshit, too. Funny how the list goes on now. Goes, goes, list is gone now. Whatever list, I don't know what he's talking about. That, and then look at the Woogie calls me. Here you go, people. Fuck that pussy. I'm going to play, I'm done playing games with him. I'm moving on to better things with him. Guys, that don't act like little bitches, Muggy. Take that for what it is worth, brother. Bunch a child childish BS. So there you go, Chris. Now we can officially, I can officially tell you, go fuck yourself. Don't, and you are going to be delete on and everything I'm connected to. I want no part of you officially on this video. So you're seeing it. When you see it. And don't give me your crybaby bullshit. Don't give me none of this. You said, and everybody can read it here, what you just said to me. And what you meant. Just so said, Woogie Nitro. Okay, well, sure didn't mean to insult you. I apologize for that. I am not biased. I just told you I got I get on the muggy for how he's acting. Have no ideas what list you're talking about. And I'm going to just say stay out of this because I can see where it's going was hoping to get you two to not go at it in public's eye because you both will take everything more offensively when all your subscribers are seeing it so much for the civil and nitro brothers and you guys helped each other out so well that short period of time I just don't get it Woogie says I tried Joe but 
He cries about everything. <laughs> He's so full of shit. No more on channel talk. My number is blah, blah, blah. Call me if you want to talk. I'm surprised Woogie didn't read this thing. He should have deleted it if he's smart. Because he knows what's going to happen as I'm reading this. And it's already happening. Wheels are in motion. Muggy maniac. And I said, where's your proof of that, Mr. Tenor? Who's tripping now? I call BS as always. All the minions, he calls my, the guys that have relationships, Gearhead Attic, Nitro Nation, Andrew, Family Affair, One Fifth RC, you know, um, Connor Whip, he calls them my minions. He says, all your minions agree, uh, all my minions agree, Chris Tenner is the biggest pussy and bitch ever to hit the YouTube, ever to hit the channel. You're an ignorant idiot. And then he never replied. So he must not read his comments, but I do. Okay? And people like him and the nerd and Foss, they're all the same. Backstabbers. And he wants to cry wolf all the time. Oh, the muggy always complains and to, or, or the muggy always call, calls me out. I do nothing but tell the truth. If the shoe fits, wear it. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. So again, I wasted 20 minutes of your people's time and I apologize. But this is some bullshit that I'm getting really tired of dealing with. So you officially know, me and Woogie, we're, we're done. You read what he just said about me. I did nothing to the guy. All I did was tell the truth. And he wants to try to butt heads with Bo Gel now too, man. This guy, because he's got 500 subscribers, is way over his head. So, I'm out. I'm out of the Woogie. I don't recommend... If you guys want to go watch his bullshit, go ahead. I'm not, uh, I'm not condoning anything that he does anymore. Not after those remarks that he just made for all the people to read. He might as well just made a video about it. And then he did on his last video you guys seen. He looked like he was like a like a freaking somebody stole his dog. Pathetic. No energy, no enthusiasm. He looked very, very like tired. I don't know what his deal is, but I mean he'll make all the excuses in the book why he can't get to the track, blah blah blah. This, listen, excuses are like assholes, they stink and everybody has one. And have I made excuses? Plenty of times. I'm the first one to tell you, like I said. When I do something wrong or something, when people call me out on something, I don't run and hide. I don't make excuses. I defend it with either facts or truth, or I just say, listen, you know what, bro? Sorry, you're right. So let's move on, because that just really gets me fired up. And I thought me and Woogie could coexist and be cool. You know, but he wants to slander me and then make videos like everything's cool with us. We're not cool, Woogie. We will never be cool. Don't try to make one of your apologetic videos that ain't happening no more. You just need to forget about me. I'm sure you're going to do a video after you watch this. Defend yourself, whatever, say all your bullshit. But I just read you what was written between you and Just Joe. And Just Joe will justify that. He will back, my, back me up because he has my back, unlike you. Unlike those guys that didn't say anything that what Don Foss said was wrong. Nobody defended me except for Joe. Gearhead Attic, Nitro Nation, okay, Elite RC will always defend me, because he really doesn't care for for Mr. Fake Fo Phony Foss either, you know. Those are my real brothers. They got my back. They don't stab, my ba stab me in the back. So anyway, <clears throat> me and Mark are cool. Mark, we're cool. Now, Mark, let me help you out. He's looking to get... He asked me, in my opinion, what do I think? X-ray. I mean, I can only go, as far as truggies, people that are looking to purchase, I can only go what I own. Oh, by the way, check this out, people. By the way, like I said again, I, I, I hate starting my videos that way. I'm not talking shit to people that don't deserve it. Also, somebody else, and I'm not going to mention his name, he knows who he is, made a comment that I took shots at people. I take shots at people that make videos about me and talk shit on their comments. So again, Mr. You Know Who You Are, get all the facts straight. Don't watch part of my video or, or whatever, or don't do, if you're not going to do your homework, then minimize your comments to what you know that are facts. I take shots at people because they're shooting at me all the time. The nerd's going to constantly get shots at me. Shots. He's going to take shots at me, and I'm constantly going to pop shot him. Okay? As long as he uploads videos talking, calling me his RC wife. Like I said, he will become my bitch. Period. When you nerd, like I said, when you undo your comments... 
And he said that on that video too. You guys heard, oh, well, you know, leave a comment. Nobody can leave comments because all the nerd ch videos are all blocked. As soon as his bitch ass unblocks the videos, I'll give him his list. And like I said, the first one on the list of why an often is inferior to race kits because last time I checked, the last 10 years, there wasn't any video, I mean any video, I'm sorry, any listings or rankings of an Athena anywhere to be seen. Club, scrub, racing, that shit don't matter. Okay? If you're a club racer, a scrub racer, I call them, you're the local guy that goes to the track, hey, to each his own, man. It doesn't mean it's bad. You're just not a professional. So don't act like you're trying to talk like you're some professional. Okay? Again, you know, people want to act it up and ham it up for the camera, you know, for the for the YouTube ratings, for the views, for whatever. Listen, I don't give a shit about any of that, okay? All I care about is facts, evidence, proof of what you're saying, and that's it. Nothing else, you know? I I'm not concerned about, you know, your RTR stuff. He eats his own. Here you go. This is the recent rankings. Top 25 uh, right after the, what was the last race they just had? Big race. It'll tell you in a minute. My computer is really slow. So jammed up right now. i got to clean it out. Okay, right after the 2019 Winter Cup. Here we go. HB. X-Ray. Ty Tessman. By the way, don't quote me on this, but I hear down the pike. Ty Testament is going to be leaving X-Ray after the end of the season and more than likely will be going to Team Mugen. So what now? Any questions? Ty Tessman? What? Ryan Bat Batier? Which is number six in the world? Mugen? Adam Drake? Mayfield? Oh, forget it, people. Game over. Those guys on Team Mugen? Oh, shit. Man, if you're a bandwagon guy, guess what? Go get a Mugen. <laughs> I already have them. Or I probably would. But anyway, look at I mean this this, this there, I didn't see no Ofnas in here. Where where's Ofna? I don't see an Ofna. And go look at the last ten years of this top RC. There, I don't see anything. Ofna. So there's my first number one on the Ofna list of why they are inferior. So when they and he said that they got a race kit, whatever. So anyway, let's let's keep let's just try to get back into nitro, man. I don't want to turn this into a rant and rave shit, but man, I'm tired of it. So look what we got here. Oh snaps, people! The muggy maniac. Oh hell yeah! Italian Motors. Three, in my opinion, some of the top. Not there's there's one missing out here, but it's in a vehicle. Out of fact, is it? No, we can take it out here. We can we got we got to put the Godfather in there. We can't have Italian food without the Godfather people. Come on, man. There he is. There's the Godfather right there. That's that's the man right there. No Grossi twenty eight point eight Rex Legend. Stock badass. Stock spanks that ass. But modded badder asser. <laughs> the Vitus Virtus whatever it's called that I just ran. Oh super. Super duper snaps. This is a badass. You guys seen it. And some guy named, named, um, what is, what's his name? Inspector Moya. Who is this Inspector Moya? Did you guys read his comment? Oh, well, I don't really do RC. I'm mostly a motocross MX guy, which I think is a bunch of horse shit. Go, go check out. Matter of fact, he's on here. Mr. Moya's like, oh, I don't think you're tuning. He tried to give me advice on tuning. Like I said, why are you giving people advice? When you're only you don't even you're not even running nothing but your mouth. So all you're running is your mouth. He said on the on on the on my on the comment on my video that he doesn't really run RC, but he is a motocross guy, which I think's a bunch of bullshit. Okay, or he might think he knows what you know and what you do are two two different things. Okay, YouTube doesn't lie most of the time. There's just people that are on YouTube that lie and are full of shit. Okay. And this guy was saying, okay, that my tune was off, but you can tell the guy didn't watch the whole video because if you watch my whole video towards the end of the video, my shit was dialed. I don't know what you're what he's talking out. 
his his beside his his neck. Okay. Here's the guy. This is my last video. You guys hope if you guys haven't watched it, watch it. You probably won't see this tomorrow morning. And also, by the way, you know, you know the people that make the comments. You know, a one Mr. Crotic said nothing about a one stage, two stage race tune. Did you guys not go see my last video? Crotic said nothing about one stage race tune. He would have said it if it existed, or if he would have said it. This is called a one stage race tune. He didn't say that. And here, Woogie again, talking out his ass. A single stage idol is a race tune, and you're not there yet. <laughs> My shit's a race tune. Not a single stage, which... It is what it is. You, whatever. I don't hear Crotic and other pros talking about single stage. Now, you hear guys on YouTube, but they're not pros again. No discredit to this SKJ2000 or, or Chili. Never said they didn't know what they're doing. I don't even, I don't even follow the guys, so I don't even know what, who, who they are, what they are. There, there is no, doesn't mean because they don't have a lot of subs. I'm just not subscribed to them. If you're not subscribed to me, I'm not trolling around looking for you. So why would I know who you are? If you subscribe to me, then I know who you are. Or if you at least make a comment, I haven't seen those guys making any comments. You know? Mike Crotic, professional race tuner for Koyosho. Seen the last video, said race tune. He didn't say single stage. He didn't say two stage. He said race tune. What part of that do you guys understand? Again, people making ignorant comments. Lack of information and knowledge, period. So this guy here, he even said, Mr. Mike, uh, not him. That guy was cool. He was talking about people in the snow when it snows. <laughs> hey, that's a true warrior, man. If, even if it's snowing, you're running your shit. You don't care because you are... Gearhead, die hard, do whatever it takes. You're not touching no E word. You're not doing no airplanes. You're doing straight nitro eight skill buggy truggy. Even if it's monster truck or you know RTR whatever, you're doing nitro. That's it. No E word. Real gearheads, they don't do E word. None of that I know anyway. So anyways, it says your car's cut off a bunch of time. Your car cuts off a bunch of times after idling for ten seconds. I'm more than I'm. I'm more MX than RC. But I know I should be able to stop my dirt bike and talk a little and not have it cut off. Your turning is off. The immediate sluggish idle after gassing then complete shutdown is proof. <laughs> he didn't watch the whole video. Okay, I said obviously you didn't watch the entire video because even though it did. At times, eventually, I dialed it. Okay, yes, it cut off at certain times, but I, as soon as I dialed it towards the end, like I said, my shit was money. So before you make ignorant comments, watch the whole video. At the end of it, it was dialed. So again, Mr. Inspector Idiot, don't let your mouth write checks your ass can't cash. Or, like I said, you will get some muggy verbal therapy, which is my foot... Flip flop or not, up your ass. So anyway, I just want to share that with you because that's the shit that I deal with, man. So that's why I am the way I am. I'm on the defensive because I'm defending myself because of all these idiots out there. So anyway, whew, take a deep breath, Muggy. Italian food, homemade. This ain't no can shit, people. Muggy knows how to cook shit up. Do you smell what the Muggy's cooking? First, I'm cooking this foot up people's ass that want to talk shit. And when there's no facts behind it, like, I don't mind the shit talking. Just get your facts right. That's another thing, people. Oh, well, you talk shit, but you, yeah, I talk shit with facts. I talk shit fucking with, with evidence. I talk shit with proof. There's a difference. Talking shit and talking factual shit are two different things. People talk unfactual shit. And just talk out their neck. So they're not, that isn't talking shit. That's talking out your ass. Talking out the side of your neck. Okay? That's what that is. Talking shit means you're talking shit with facts and evidence and proof behind it. Running your mouth is another expression for you, you're making ignorant comments that have no proof, no nothing behind it. 
again, like I, so I always say, don't let your mouth write checks your ass can't cash. Because when your mouth is talking bullshit, when there's no evidence, or, it's, your ass is not going to cash it, obviously. So it's, you're talking at your ass. Okay? So we are, the muggy, do you smell what the muggy's cooking? This is what the muggy's cooking. Homemade Italian ground, lean, mean, ground beef, Italian mild sweet sausage, uh, mushrooms, onions. Oh, hell yeah, people. This is what I'm talking about, suckers. This is how the muggy rolls, okay? And look, you got an Italian godfather. You know, you got one of his nephews over here, Mr. Virtus, spanking that ass. This thing, and I don't talk, you know how I am about point twenty ones. They got to be like this badass. Modded RB, R5 Team Edition, okay? This little badass right here, point twenty one bone stock. It is a pricey motor. They're about 270, just like the Mito. These things are nasty, nasty little motors. More than even that P5. That P5, yeah, it's nice. It's going to go back in because I got to finish breaking in. It's going to go back in. It's bone stock. It's going to go back in the Techno. Techno's ready for more. She's a little filthy. But you know the Muggy does his basic clean out. Take the fuel tank out, clean all the lines out thoroughly. No alcohol, no, no fuel left in those lines overnight okay take the motor clean it out thoroughly you guys know how to clean it you don't need to show me i mean look at the back plate let's check this out i want to show you guys this these are two of the probably badder asses back plates i've ever seen on point point 21s look at that one pretty pretty sick if you look at that the way it's milled it's got like a concave inside of it it's pretty trippy i don't know if you guys can see that focus let me focus focus Focus, look at inside that. That's a Novorossi, people. And it's a point twenty-one. Can we please have something like this in a point twenty-eight? Please? Mr. Mrs. Novorossi? <laughs> now look at the reds. Again, look at that. That's a sick back plate. You guys know about reds if you have one or don't or do your homework. Look at that. Diamond back plate, people. That ain't no slouch. That's a sick back plate and so is that look at the way see it's got a concave polished aluminum milled in, in the, inside of there see that it's like a concave that's a sick ass back plate especially for an over -using. so anyway we're eating Italian food we got Mr. Pico sick motor by the way shout out to one fifth he's in the uh, he's trying he's got one already in his possession <clears throat> again Floyd Brewer, do yourself a favor, film some video while you're at it, break in if you haven't already, run that P3. Floyd Brewer has a P3.28 Pico in his possession modded by Rick at RB, just like this. If you're not running that thing, Floyd, I don't know what you're doing, man. <laughs> That's a nasty motor. That motor is, gives this some, some, a run. I can't, now I can say, this is still my favorite. Don't get that twisted. Stalker modded the Rex 28.8 is my favorite motor. This one, eh, this one's, you know, maybe one of these days we'll we'll do what I have to do to get it going again. But it's it's on the shelf and I'm not concerned about it. Um, I'm concerned about quality. I don't care about quantity. It's about quality. This is a quality motor. Because it's Italian. This is a quality motor. Because it's Italian. This is a quality motor. Because it's Italian. Because it's Italian. Do you guys get where I'm coming from? Italians? Or nothing. Alright? Also, Byron's? Or nothing. By the way, Tanner, even though we're, we're officially divorcing now. <laughs> that's funny, man. And I don't hate Chris. Don't get that wrong. I don't hate the guy. Just what he's done. And, and we've went through, you got to, there's two sides to the story. Weigh the facts, weigh the evidence, see the proof, you make your own judgment. You on Woogie's side, you on my side, you on both of our side, hey, at least I admit and show and prove and give evidence of my truth. Maybe not his, because I don't know what his is. But anyway, Italians are nothing. Also, Italian pipes or nothing people that's what I'm talking these are all Italian I don't, I don't deal with nothing 
oh, am I better? Oh, am I, am I, you know, or if you don't have one of these, or if you don't have one of these, or if you don't have one of these badass whips that, oh, you're, you're no good. All I got is an RTR. Well, make it the best RTR you can. But I will tell you, your RTR, with an exception of, of the Hyper 7, your RTR is going to give you a lot of headaches. <laughs> Eventually. Just be prepared. It's all you got. It's all you got. Do it. Run it. Do whatever you can. And then move on. But I don't know. Like Mr. Zaw will say, hey, that's all you got. And you can't afford it. Well, maybe you should get another job. Maybe you should work more hours. Maybe you should put in more overtime. There's a lot of, there's a lot of you know, uh, solutions to that. <laughs> just don't say well, it's all I got that'd be like me saying well it's all I got okay it is let me do what I can do but if you want to get serious if you want to move up if you want to go to the next level man you got to get modded motors you got to get race kits you got to get you know quality whips period man that's that, that, well, how else can I say it if you're a newbie and you're coming into this, man, I recommend either a Mugen or a Techno. Either one of them you can go wrong. Anything else I don't know nothing about. Anything that I would tell you would be all on speculation. I can only go with what I run. Mugens and Technos. Now I will tell you that other whips, and I know people that run them, are great. <laughs> Kyoshos are tops, but they're pricey, man. Parts are expensive. X-ray, same thing. Pricey. Parts are expensive. No real professional support on either one of those teams, except for, for, for Mr. Krodick. And he's not really talking too much about Truggies because Kyosha's not really known for their Truggies. They're just known for their buggies. E-Word or Nitro, their buggies are the top notch. Although, from what I've seen and doing my studying homework, the MP10, eh, I don't hear a lot of, too much about it. Some guys say the 9's a little bit better. But you got to remember, the 10 hasn't been proven yet. It hasn't been on the circuit long enough. That's why I didn't initially, when I was looking at Truggies and Mugens, I didn't want to get an 8, and they were out. Because it didn't, hadn't proven anything. Now? Well, of course. Mayfield took this thing. This thing is a 2019, you guys heard me say it before, 2019 World, or National, I don't say World, National Truggy Champ. In the United States of America, against all the best in the world, the MBX-8, driven by Mayfield, spanked ass. Didn't just beat people. Didn't just walk away. This platform walked away from everything else. Associated, X-Ray, Hot Bodies, Technos, all of them walked away. Sure, Mayfield's a beast, but still, it, it's the 19, 2019 National Truggy Champ, period. <laughs> Buggy-wise... Last year, the 7, Mayfield, with the Truggy and the 7, eh, came in third place in the world. So, I don't know. I base my stuff a lot of times off of, you know, what their pedigree is. What's their resume look like? Look at a vehicle and look at what their resume is. Technical support. Professional support. Guys like Adam Drake. That's why I'm with Mugen. What more do I want? Adam Drake. Parts available. Very durable. Always upgrading and always all kinds of tuning options for it. More than the Techno. Okay? But I love my Techno. Techno is a tank bulletproof. If you're a guy that doesn't like to do too much wrenching, you like to wrench, but you're not a real wrench wrenching guy. You know? Which means you're really not a gearhead because we love the wrench. Um, this one I don't give a lot of attention to. There's nothing really to do f for it except upkeep it. That's it. There's no a lot of tuning options for it. Very minimal. And bashing anyway. Or recreational. Now the Mugens? Oh man, there's tuning options and, and carbon fiber and titanium shit and different angles of stuff all over the place. Adam's the man when it comes to that. So I have more Mugens. <laughs> Mugens are my favorite. I love Techno, don't get me wrong, but Mugens, man, come on. And now they're coming out with the M MBX 10 RD. What? What? Are you serious? Rhonda and, and Adam are testing them right now? Oh, so Naps. Guess what that means, people? What did John say? Do your homework on one of his videos. Actually, it's a video where they discontinued the 4.0. He said, if Mugen comes, he goes, don't be surprised if Mr. Botagel runs a Mugen. He loves Adam. That's his boy. Has respect for him. He looks at Adam just like I do, the Dale Earnhardt of RC, and he is a Nitro gearhead. Nitro brother. Okay, he only runs the E-word because he has to, because it's part of the contract. But he's a Nitro gearhead. Adam Drake 
And Baudigel said, I think they have a sea cup, a sea hub, a sea cup. <laughs> hey, if they're, if they're eating a lot, they might have a sea cup. But anyway, those man boobs. But anyway, Baudigel said, they, if he gets a hold of a, of a sea hub, it's on a crack. And so guess what? Mark my words. And I don't know all the facts, but I will tell you, next year sometime, Mr. Za will be making a comeback. And he will be blowing this shit up. So if I were you, you might want to get on the Mugen Mafia bandwagon because that's what's coming. He already had went through the techno thing and he was going to get him at one time or another. And I don't really know all the facts of what happened. All I know is he did the techno thing. But he did say the Mugens, he just didn't like the pillow balls for whatever reason. And I think the pillow balls are fine. But obviously Adam seen something that he can improve it. And if he thinks the sea hubs are are better for whatever reason for racing then that's fine and john feels that the sea hubs will be better for recreational bashing so whatever the whole point is john said that if they if he gets a sea hub on a mugen it's on a kraken i expect that john will do a build like he did with the 4.0 low c buggy and truggy the same buggy and truggy and who wouldn't want or why wouldn't adam want to hook john up he knows how much subscribers john has Oh my god, Mugen will go through the roof. Mugen will probably hook up John for free. <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked. John will definitely get hooked up by Mugen. And if John does, I and mean, I'd say don't quote me on this. This is just speculation from information that I gather. If John does go Mugen, oh, forget about it. And he will test it. He will test that Mugen to the extremes, and you guys know that. So anyway... Again, I apologize for having to turn part of this video into, you know, more of my rant and rave. But, you, you know, smell what the muggy's cooking? The muggy's cooking this foot therapy is what's cooking. And people that want to stab me in the back and talk shit behind my back, those are not my friends, or they will never be my friends. So, it is what it is. It's all water under the bridge now. We're moving on. Next thing we're going to be running is this badass, my MBX-7. Um, which I love this thing. I've got all the upgrades and goodies pretty much that you can get. There's nothing else you can do to this thing as far as for bashing. Carbon fiber top, servo saver plate, front uh, king heads, aluminum chassis brace. See that black thing? Rear king heads, aluminum chassis brace, all titanium turnbuckles, rear aluminum hub carriers, uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, the only thing I don't have on it is nitrate uh, shock shafts. Or I don't have, you know, some of their aftermarket better shock pistons. But these shocks are money. There's nothing really else to do to this thing. I might throw a little bit more carbon fiber wrap here and there. I gotta find some carbon fiber mud wrap, mud, mud guards. I love the ones that I got for that came with the Techno. 3 millimeter. I don't know if they make them, the guy made them, where he got them. But I'm sure they're out there. So, anyway. That's happening. The techno, eh, we're, we're, we're slowly, we're, we're thinking of doing some other things to the techno. I'm thinking of, you know, um, probably changing um, a few things around as far as the gearing wise. And I'm talking internal, uh, ring and pinions. Try different gearing in there because I've had extra diffs. Um, but anyway, we'll get to a racetrack sooner or later, hopefully, uh, this weather. It's not bad like you guys have it, pretty bad. I know the guys back east that's hitting them. And man, I'm telling you, watch my, wa mark my words, the guys that are, even if they are into nitro now, you're going to see everybody, do everybody started to go dormant. Nobody's going to, uh, this is, remember people, this isn't my first YouTube nitro video. I mean, uh, you know, winner. This is my sixth, going on my sixth winner in nitro on youtube so are all you newbies and rookies that are doing your whatever channels and long as you're putting in the work shout out to you whoever you might be okay remember where if you're back east man hey coot my my uh my thoughts and prayer go out to you hopefully it's a safe winter nothing crazy happens but i'm hearing that it's going to be one of the nastiest winters we've had in a long time just because the summer was so crazy We'll get rain here and there, but, you know, I mean, nothing, nothing, I'll, I'll run in the rain, I don't care, as long as my shit's silicone, I'm cool. Man, doesn't that look good? I'm starving right now, people. Um, it's getting late. I need to whoop this down. I mean, I shouldn't be eating this late. 
But anyway, I just wanted to do this video to kind of, again, I don't want people to be confused about what, what's going on with me. Why am I taking shots at people? Why am I saying there's a reason to why I don't just say shit to say shit like most people. There's facts, evidence, and proof, and a good reason why I say the things that I do. And people got that coming to them. Credit due where credit's due, like the mug always says, but criticism due where criticism is due. One last thing, this blue magic, get this. Look at that. Money. That's the works pipe I ran today. It is, look at, that's what it did look like before. It wasn't too bad. But then when I show that blue magic on there, oh, bam, look it. Can you guys see me? You guys can see the muggy in there, huh? My bald ass. Anyway, we're going to run the MBX 7 RT race chuggy with Noborosi modded by RB Mods. This is Rick's work. RB Mods 28.8 Rex with the 2148 Triton. So you guys will see that will be the next video coming. Um, we're going to rip this thing. Um, I, I like to warm up on my point twenty ones, even though that Virtus was badass. This Virtus, remember I shimmed it. It's got a point sixty millimeter head shim in it. Okay? It had an 80. I took 20 out. Um, I was, like I said on my video, was going to try to run that red pipe on there. This one here. To see if I can get it more. But you guys seen it. It didn't need that pipe right there. Also, where is it at? The That pipe right there works. 25th, it's the EFRA works 2058. Check out Amy and they might still have them. That's a badass pipe. That's the pipe that I ripped on the Virtus today. And I ran it on a lot of point twenty ones. So anyway, let me have some Italian food. Garlic bread is almost done. It's in the oven right there. We're uh, getting ready to have an Italian feast with my Italian paisanos here. Uh, Mr. Godfather, obviously. But over here is his main man, Hitman Pico, because that is a badass bitch. Like I said, one fifth RC's got one already. He's got one coming. Hopefully another one coming that he's going to get for me. Both of us are sending it to Lance because this thing has to be modded by the Pico Master. Lance at RC Renew. Um, Mr. Red's badass as always. This is still my favorite point twenty one modded. Okay, this is becoming, I like this, this Virtus. This is a badass point twenty one. It is a little pricey. It is around 270. You might be able to get it for 250 or whatever. But if you guys want a badass point twenty-one, okay, get one of these. Very, very, very well engineered. Top of the line for Novorossi motors of any size. I wish they would make this one, this engineering and this design and all this badass technology, they would make one of these like that. That would be super duper snapper rooney. That would be like, oh my gosh, like, pfft, are you kidding me? Can you imagine this thing designed like this, like this Virtus, but this size? Oh, pfft. game over. Thank you. Have a nice day. Spanking LRP ass, modified all day long. We will get to that. <coughs> it's just one thing after another with this motor. Uh -uh, it's just not my priority. I've got better motors, you know, so I don't, I don't need to play with this one. Yes, it is the biggest, but, yeah, it's just the biggest pile of shit. <laughs> China man. You know, and even this one's a badass motor, but, eh, it's already sold. I'm going to run it some more, break it in some more for my cousin. But other than that, it's going to my cousins. Muggy's just going straight Italians, like I said, people. Italians or nothing. Italian motors, Italian pipes, Byron fuel, race, race quits, whatever. I mean, I wouldn't ma mind owning a Hyper 7. Like I said, a credit do what credit's do. It's the baddest RTR, ready to run, whip out of a box. But it's a scrub whip, okay? Period. It's made for newbies. They didn't make that for guys that were at different levels. They didn't make it for the guys that were, you know... You guys, know, you guys know what I'm talking about, and I'm not talking bad about it. Yeah, the nerds, that's a different case, a different scenario. That's an exception. The nerds probably got the baddest hyper that ever existed. Who cares? Whatever. But if he wants to try to say that he's going to spank my ass against my Techno, or even my old Mugen over there, you know, or any one of his Polestar scrub whips is going to compete against my race kits, even with stock motors or, or mod, it doesn't matter. I'll spank that ass. All day long. So he can talk shit as long as he makes videos talking about me, calling me his RC wife, which is what he does. That's again crossing the line. You're getting personal. You know, that's why I call him Nitro Turd. That's why I said he's going to be my bitch. 
I didn't just say that to say that. I said it because that guy will, has been saying since the get-go that I'm his RC wife. Okay. Ha, ha, ha. You're funny. So, you're my RC bitch. How's that? Same thing, right? Motto, a motto. So, anyway, that's all I got. Just make sure you guys, if you're going to make comments, make videos, whatever, call somebody out, point something to somebody out, Tell somebody, give somebody some, you know, try to give them advice. Make sure you're doing what you're trying to criticize them or tell them to give them the help for. If you're not, zip it. Okay, nobody wants to hear it. Get your facts and evidence straight, then open your mouth. Otherwise, like I said, it's just a bunch of nitro RC vomit. That's all it is. So the Muggy Maniac is uh, tearing down the techno. We're going to get it all cleaned up. We got the rims and tires and... You know, body in here, because that's got to get the first cleaning. Going to take the wing off, clean it. You know, normal cleaning stuff. You guys don't even to make a video about cleaning anything. You've seen enough. So anyway, um, that's all I got. Shout out to Gearhead Attic, man. Happy birthday. Today was his birthday. Happy birthday to you, brother. You know, he's got my back. Always, man. And I got his back. Those are That's, that's a true Gearhead brother. Nitro brother. Shout out to Lights Out, man. Again, you're welcome for that... Uh, for that um, part, we met, you know, and I, I again thank you for the two speed clutch bell that you sent me. Um, you know, I much appreciate it. Whether it works or doesn't blow up, I don't know until I run it, it might explode like the other ones have. But anyway, shout out to you. You know, we and him talk a lot, um, too, obviously. You know, now that our relationship is where, where it should be. Um, also, shout out to, to Drew. Uh, his nitro shop, you know, I mean, that Crotic thing, I checked, Crotic doesn't have his own channel, Crotic is part of Passionate About RC, that's where he does all of his teaching and stuff, he doesn't have his own, he's not a social media guy, but that was him, that was Crotic making that comment, and I think that's pretty cool, and the reason he found it is because obviously, go look at that video, it shows a picture of him on it, and, um, you know, so that's, more than likely, that's why he caught and it's not like he was trolling around YouTube <laughs> but I'm sure that probably popped up because you know his 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 pictures on it so I, I mean but anyway that it, that's a real comment man from him which is pretty cool man it made me feel you know that that I had some not that I didn't feel like what I was saying was truthful but this goes you there's a guy right there with his experience didn't say anything about no single stage tune he said a race tune is what he was talking about. He didn't ever mention in that video or any of his videos single stage. Never. So those of you that think the single stage and the two, whatever that is, it's, it's a race tune. What he does is a race tune, is what I do, try to do. So anyway, that's all I got. Let me go eat some of this badass Italian grub with my Italian brothers right here. And, uh, you know, Godfather says, listen, he's got an offer you can't refuse. And the offer is, as long as you come with facts and information correctly as far as what you're saying has weight to it and what you're saying has evidence and proof that what you're saying is even, is, is even accurate, then the offer that I have is that I'm not going to beat the hell out of you. I'm not going to give you therapy up your ass. But when you talk trash and you talk smack and you and you have no evidence and facts and shit like that, you're going to get muggy therapy in your ass. Oh, by the way, look at that beautiful center two-speed XTM Mammoth one-of-a-kind diff. Look at that. All 7075 blue anodized Billet aluminum. Top brake plates, bearings and all. $200 I spent for that thing. Almost as much as I paid for the whole XTM. <laughs> but I had to have it. Steel gears. It's no plastic. Those are steel. It's tungsten hardened steel. A little heavier, but so what? They don't strip out like the other ones do. Look at that. Is that a beautiful scrub center drivetrain? 
because it is a scrub. <laughs> XTM is a scrub. <laughs> They're not race kits. Even as much work as I did to this thing. There's the Elite. I did a small, a slight mod job on the Elite 5. Just a little bit, nothing crazy. So we're going to fire that thing up, and it's going to see, you're going to see if it will even move this fat pig around. So anyway, that's all I got, people. Remember, whatever you do, do it to, the, to your best ability. And at the end of the day, no matter what happens, no matter what the results that you get, as long as you gave it 110% and get, had a great attitude, you got and you, the, you got ahead, and you learned something. You got ahead that day. Do whatever you want to do, whatever makes you happy. Okay? I said what I had to say. You guys be the judge and jury. You draw your own conclusion. All I'm doing is giving you the facts and the evidence. You guys have to make the judgment. I already have. It's Muggy Maniac. Peace out.